All right, here we are. We are back. Um, we just finished up uh, in Traverse Town. Um, met our new friends, uh, Donald and Goofy. Um, that was uh, that was yesterday. Uh, I did that. I recorded. I um, uh, got a little bit of editing done last night. Um, and uh, like I said, this is a re-record, so you know we're kind of you know uh, we're a little bit uh, off in terms of uh, how this how this uh, commentary is going to go. But that's all right. We'll, we're we're having fun with it. So let's go ahead and uh, resume on to the next world. The green cursor shows your current position. Select your next destination with the cursor. Observe the battle level when selecting destinations. More stars means stronger heartless in that world. Alright, so we got this one. That's battle level 2. Uh, Traverse Town doesn't seem to have a battle level. Um, and this one has battle level 1. So, we'll go with this one first. Um, just because, I mean, obviously I've played this game before, so I know that's probably the correct order to do this. Um, but, you know, lower level, we'll start with that. Um, the heartless ships often give us a hard time. Always be on the lookout during flight. Your journey will be documented until you reach your destination. Seek out the missions each world has to offer. Control the gummy ship with the left stick. Tilt it up to descend and down to ascend. The blue gauge shows the power level. Firing lasers, among other things, consumes power. The green gauge shows the strength of the armor. If it reaches zero, it's back to the departing point. Alright. So this is uh, their method of interworld travel. Uh, they have to get on this ship and travel through these weird, um, travel through this weird like, space, uh, I don't know, sort of thing. Almost like you're visiting different planets, but it's through, I don't know, I would assume the multiverse if I had to guess. Um, This portion of the game isn't as engaging as I think maybe um, the rest of it. I've never been a big like fan of the gummy ship um, and the method of uh, even in the second one. The second one it's a little bit better, but um, I, I I don't personally like the gummy ship aspect of it all that much. Um, but like I said, I've never played uh, any of the other Kingdom Hearts, so just one and two. So you know, I don't know. Maybe they made vast improvements to it, but this one. Um, it just seems... Here I am crashing into stuff. Um, the... The... Other thing is that you can... Change your ship. Like, you can work on it. Like, there's like a little... I don't know if you'd call it like a minigame, but it's like... Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's a minigame. It's like, you, you can build new gummy ships and, and get new blueprints for them and stuff. And, you know, as you can see, we're getting these... You know, Protect G. We're getting parts for it, basically. Uh, I'm, I've never, uh, gone through and tried to, like, make it any better. I've basically, you can pretty much go through this whole game with just this, this basic one. If you don't want to, um, adapt it, you do not have to. Uh, but if you do, I mean, go for it. Um, you can probably do some cool stuff with it. I've just never tried. Alright, here we are. Uh, made it to our next world. Looks like Wonderland. Let's disembark. I'm just gonna double check the recording right here just because I I keep I keep looking over and my my indicator that's usually on isn't on right now so I'm just gonna double check it real quick so we'll hold off for just a second all right we're good it was um it was all good and fine we just uh there was just a like uh, it, I don't know I just had to restart the software um the rest of it's still recorded we're all good um it just the the indicator wasn't coming on so it was making me nervous so I just had to restart it we're all good so we're following the white rabbit. 
Right. How did he get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. Ah, I'm Cox. <sighs> Must you be so loud? You woke me up. <sighs> Good morning. Good night. I need a bit more sleep. Wait, Ooh. what do we have to do to grow small? Why don't you try the bottle? Over there. Alright, let's try the bottle. I wanna let me. Hello? There we go. Oh man, I forgot. I wasn't supposed to do that just yet. Um, because as you can see, there's nowhere I can go. Oh, hello. Yeah, let's start. Knocking these guys out a little bit. I love that slide dash ability. It is, it is ridiculously helpful. Oh man. Boom, now we got some fire elementals coming in, too. I think this is where they first get introduced, is right here. Um, well, no, I think if you go to uh, the other world, you'll, you'll, you'll find them, too. Alright. Oh. Nope, one more. Collecting, collecting these orbs is a bit of a, a, a bit of a pain, but uh, eventually, once you kind of get, uh, you get an ability that makes it a little easier. Okay, he's snoozing. He's not going to let us through. Um, looks like we could go through here, but there's this bed in the way. Oh man. Man, I wish these guys would stop messing with me so I can... Alright, let's try and get big again. See, so yeah, what you need to do there is push that bed in. Um, I don't know... I, th I think I've always had like a strategy guide for this, uh, so I don't know how how long I imagine other people will get stuck doing that. <laughs> Court is now in session! I'm on trial? But why? <gasps> Her Majesty, the Queen of Hearts, presiding. This girl is the culprit. There's no doubt about it. And the reason is... Because I say so, that's why... That is so unfair. Well, have you anything to say in your defense? Of course. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. You may be queen, but I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to be so... so mean. Silence! You dare defy me? Hey guys, we should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's against the rules. The court finds the defendant guilty as charged for the crimes of assault an attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head! No, no! Oh, please! Hold it right there! Who are you? How dare you interfere with my court? Excuse me, but we know who the real culprit is. Uh-huh. It's the heart one. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh... Bring me evidence of Alice's innocence. Fail and it's off with all of your heads. Gather as much or as little evidence as you please. Report back here once you're ready. 
Alright, so in this in this portion, it's actually, it kind of behooves you to grab more evidence. Uh, I'll kind of explain that a little bit later. Uh, it's just easier when it's, when the reason's kind of right in front of you, but definitely try to go grab uh, all the evidence. Uh, you get kind of a, it's definitely worth it too. Um, you get kind of a reward. Alright. Um, so, ah, uh, hold on, let's go through this bit first. Who are you? Who indeed? Poor Alice, soon to lose her head, and she's not guilty of a thing. Hey, if you know who the culprit is, then tell us. The Cheshire Cat has all the answers, but doesn't always tell. The answer, the culprit, the cat all lie in darkness. Wait! They've already left the forest. I won't tell which exit. There are four pieces of evidence in all, three are a cinch to find. The fourth is tricky. Big reward if you find them all. Should we trust him? To trust or not to trust, I trust you'll decide. Alright, so we gotta go uh, find evidence of uh, Alice's innocence. Um, obviously with the scene that just happened, Sora and Donald and Goofy all know that if there's uh, heart thievery going on, uh, Probably nothing to do with Atlas. Uh, it's probably the the Heartless um, attempting to do this. Granted, they're kind of. They also know that they're not supposed to be kind of messing around in the in 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 other worlds, like making. Oh, where where, where, where did? Hello. They know they're not supposed to be, you know, as as Donald put it, meddling. Uh, they're not supposed to be interfering because this isn't their this isn't their place this isn't their world they're not from here they're not supposed to exist here uh, they're basically breaking the rules by by being here however it is um, a necessary part of their journey because of the the nature of the heartless and what's going on ether tent potion good 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 oh hey look what's this boom Footprints. That's some evidence. Um. So despite all of that, uh, give me a potion. You'll grow bigger. See, so yeah, I use these flowers for sure. Here. Despite all of that, um, they know that this is um, because of the heartless that this is happening. So they are. There we go. All right. Yeah. Stomp on that, and it'll make that grow. Eat it. Eat it to grow small again. Or shrink small. Do you grow small? Is that a... I don't know. Okay, we got that one. Give me an ether. Um, so, you know, despite the fact that they're not supposed to be doing this, they're doing it. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And... As you can imagine, this is probably going to be a pretty consistent trend. I don't need to gather all of these. I have all my health. It's probably going to be a pretty consistent trend as they travel to all these different worlds. Lucid Shard. Yeah, definitely hang on to any of those items. Uh, there might be some temptation to, kind of, to, to sell them, but uh, I don't think I have any other ethers. That's my only ether. Um, let me see if I can find one that deals with potions. Nope. Yeah, those those items that you kind of pick up that don't really seem to seem to do much, they will come in handy later. It will. So definitely hang on to those as much as you can. All right, let's let's see. Let's go this way first. You can kind of jump up on these mushrooms and. Uh, Oh, hello. Go to different areas of the of the forest, especially in the uh, in the trees. 
Let's go to the bazaar room. Alright, you drop down, you get the stench, which is another piece of evidence, so that's two out of four. Halfway there. Lotus Forest. Now, you can, after you come in here and grab that first bit of evidence, go in there and just uh, trigger the next scene, and you'd probably be fine, honestly. Um, but, I... I think pursuing all of them is, is, is definitely worth it. Hello. Okay. Alright, Donald, I'm gonna need you to move, bud. Claw marks. Wait, was that the fourth? Well, look what you found. Nice going. Now we can save Alice. Don't be so sure. She may be innocent, but what about you? What do you mean? I won't tell, but I'll give you something. Attain the power of ice. Learn the magic spell Blizzard. So yeah, that's also going to come in handy. Um, we're going to... I was pretty sure I only got... Three. I was pretty sure that was only three, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's go back through and take another quick gander around here. See if we can... See if we can find the other one. Maybe that just triggers automatically when... When you catch that, when you get that one, because I think that was supposed to be the difficult one. Alright, boom, there's three more Dalmatians. Um, oh, there's the other one. And there's a... Another entrance right there. Okay, antenna. There we go. Ooh, I don't know if I could get that one. Scan G. Um... Wow, I didn't. I, I I think actually in my last playthrough I didn't I didn't think I could get that, so I don't even, I don't even know that I tried. All right, so that's all four pieces of evidence, and here is why it's a good idea to grab them all. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's talk to the white rabbit first because I feel like you don't get to interact with him as much as I would like. The queen is always right. No one has ever questioned her judgment at a trial. Yep. Yeah. You'd better bring your evidence soon. How dare you stand there? Well, what are you staring at? Oh. Ooh, talk to Alice. Who are you? I'm Sora. I'm Goofy, and that there's Donald. Pleased to meet you, though I do wish it were under better circumstances. I'm sorry you got mixed up in this nonsense. Why are you on trial in the first place? I should like to know the very same thing. Apparently I was guilty from the moment I took the stand. That's crazy. So where are you from? Hmm, curious. I can't quite remember. You see, I found this mysterious rabbit hole. When I tried to peek inside, I tumbled in head over heels and found myself here. So you're from another world. That's funny. Maybe you don't need a ship, then. I don't get it. What do you mean, another world? Enough, the defendant will be silent. Oh, if only I hadn't peeked inside that rabbit hole. I guess I'm a bit too curious for my own good. I asked this Cheshire Cat how to get home, and he told me to ask the Queen. So I came here to see her, and I was arrested. She simply refuses to listen to me. It's so unfair. I haven't done anything wrong. So I actually haven't tried to do all of these. I, I didn't realize there was this much dialogue between um, Alice and Sora. I didn't realize this happened. What shall I do? I should like to keep my head. Why, if my head and body become separated, nothing I eat will reach my stomach. That is one of the problems, for certain. Okay. So yeah, that's that, that seems to be the end of them. Um, do not speak to the defendant. A little too late, bud. Yeah, there was a lot more uh, dialogue in there than I than, than I remembered. I don't know how many times I had ever tried to talk to her. Are you ready to present your evidence before the queen? Yes. Very well. Counsel, step up to the podium. 
So, now show me what you have found. And there's all four of our evidence. Well, that is certainly a lot of evidence, but I'm still not impressed. Cards, bring forth my evidence. Hmm. Checking all five would only be a waste of time. Alright then, choose one you wish to present. I'll decide who's guilty based on that evidence. What? After all the trouble collecting it? You dare object? Then you will lose your head. Now choose. One box. So, um, no matter what, no matter how many pieces of evidence you gather, there are going to be five boxes. So, by gathering each one, your odds of, uh, proving that it was the Heartless increase. Now, if, if, if you're unlucky and you get, uh, you choose the wrong box, um, you'll lose, uh, Donald or Goofy or both, um, if you pick the wrong one. So it just makes the next fight a little bit more difficult. And like I said, it's not like, it, it, and it's not going to be the most challenging thing in the world if that's the case, but it helps to, it helps to have them, just makes it a little bit easier. Um, wonder if I can, wonder if I can hit that save point right quick. Nope, it's gone. Okay. So, let's just go ahead and pick one. Um, yeah, I'm sure. So our odds are pretty much 4 out of 5 that we're good. Bingo. What in the world was that? There's your evidence. Alice is innocent. Silence. I'm the law here. Article 29. Anyone who defines... De not defines. Defies the queen is guilty. That's crazy. Seize them at once. Cards. If they touch the tower, you lose your heads. So they use that tower to, um... To hoist Alice up. For some reason. Um... Now these cards... You can't take them out entirely. Uh... They'll just kinda... See, he kinda just falls flat. Now... Your main objective is to take this tower out. The cards can... You can kind of knock all the cards out. And it'll make your job a little bit easier. But... Honestly, you can probably just... Oh! Okay. That's the kind of day I'm gonna have. Alright. Boy, howdy. Let me tell you. See, this is what I get for trying to take things too quick. Alright. In we go. Yeah. Alright. Okay, can't skip that. Ugh. Yeah, it, if I do end up, uh, getting taken out, going to the continue screen, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and rewatch every single, every single cutscene every time, um, especially since now you can skip them. It wasn't an option when I was a kid, so I had to watch all of them over and over again. <laughs> Because I I died a lot, uh, but you know th this just just for the sake of just for the sake of speed, we'll we'll um, we'll just skip the scenes on each each uh, each retry. If not, I might even just cut them out. Who knows? Just depends on how I'm feeling that day. Dude. Oh my god, nope, this is just embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Okay, this ought to do the trick. The rest of it's just taking the taking the tower out. Alright, there we go. That's that makes me feel a little bit better. She must have gotten kidnapped while we were fighting. You fools! Find the one who's behind this. I don't care how. Yeah, so that was, um, that, that's a little embarrassing. Um, I breezed through that on my, on my last recording. This is kind of, oh man. 
Without a defendant, there's no trial. That makes sense. Find Alice and bring her here. I feel like if I did find her, I wouldn't do that. I just looked away for a moment and... Quit dawdling. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back and load his forest. See if maybe she went that way. Have you seen Alice? Alice? No. Shadows? Yes. Where did they go? This way, that way, does it matter? Well, kinda. Left, right, up, down. All mixed up thanks to the shadows. Oh, whoops, I forgot to read that part. Uh, you might find shadows in the upside down room. Alrighty. Upside down room. Alright, here we go. Now we're introduced to the, uh, large bodies. These guys are pretty easy. Um, you just can't attack them in the front, because it'll just parry all your attacks. Um, see? No use. But, a couple combos, uh, on the back should do the trick. I actually think in two they're a little bit harder. Um... They're not, not like, you know, end of the world hard, like they're gonna, they're gonna totally ruin your day, but they, they are a little bit more of a pain. See ya. See ya. So yeah, if you cast Blizzard on those, um, or you cast the opposite element on one of your, uh, on one of the, like, elemental guys, it will, uh, give you extra points, like extra experience for it. See, you get two for two in addition to uh, your two in addition to your one that you get for beating them, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean it does it does triple the amount that you're you're getting in terms of experience. And they do, I, I think they do get harder um, as the game progresses, and they do become worth more points. Oh, I'm out of MP. That is the downside, is that uh, you kind of run out of MP pretty quick. And especially if you don't pick the, uh, like, pick anything that has to do with the staff early in the game. Um, which I did, so I've got a little bit more MP than I normally would. Because usually I, um, I take the sword and I give up the staff, which gives you, like, the most strength, um, and defense. But, uh really nothing in terms of magic. Alright, got our Mad Hatter and March Hare, but they're in a painting. I don't know if it's just a painting of them, or they're actually just trapped in there. Um, no clue. I know there is, like, kind of like a secondary game to do with this. Uh, I just don't know how to, how to do it. Uh, I tried to do it earlier, um, on my last, uh, recording. Didn't work. They're hiding somewhere. And the Mamoraths outgrabe. I don't know what that means. Want to find the shadows? Try turning on the light. Makes sense to me. Alright, so... Your objective is to light these lamps. Um... That's supposed to be the light for the... For the, uh... Bizarre room. And if you didn't notice, this is the Bizarre room. You're just on the ceiling of it. Instead of... Being in the, uh... Being on the floor. So that means when we, uh, when we go back down, we will have, we'll have light, and it'll reveal the shadows. Now what that means is, who knows? There we go. Get that cleaned out. And once you do that, collect all your collect all your orbs. Good job, Donald. It's too dim. Make it brighter. What next? One more lamp that you need to light. And try to make sure that you uh, make that jump 
because I think if you drop back down, you end up in another encounter. So you have to knock them all out before you light it again. All the lights are on. You'll see the shadows soon. They'll arise in this room, but somewhere else. The shadows might go after that doorknob, too. So yeah, that, that's a pretty solid indicator of where we need to be going next. To the Queen's Castle. Here we go. Alright, from here. Oh, wait. So when you do get transported to the Queen's Castle right here, stay, stay up here, and then kinda... Then boom, you get a Thundara G. Once again, not that I think that really, you know, I, I'm not big on, like, collecting the gummy pieces, but it's there. You'll have a better view from higher up. Okay. Alright. What are you getting at, Cheshire? The shadows should be here soon. Are you prepared for the worst? If not, too bad. Alright, so this here is the Trick Master. Now he is pretty tall. Very hard to reach. But you can get him, like, on one hit with a jump. If you try to attack his legs, nothing happens. Another option is uh, you can wait for him to get closer. And when he does, you can jump on that table and uh, get a combo on him. Which makes it a little bit easier, but, you know, not... Not 100% necessary. Now, in the original game, he was actually... They've done this thing in the uh, HD remaster, where they... Like, change the colors of, your, of, of, of the bosses. This guy used to just be uh, red and black. And now he's like this weird, like, purple pink. Uh, they did the same thing with the guard armor. Like, the guard armor, I think, was just purple, and now it's like a weird, like, uh, yellow, red, and blue, and gray sort of thing. I don't know why they did that, but, you know, just changing colors and stuff. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need... There we go. Yeah, after every so many hits, he drops down to the ground, and then you can kind of let off a couple combos on him. Alright, now here... Oh, nope. Never mind, he's not doing that. He does do a thing, though. Yep, there it is. He lights his, uh, lights his sticks on fire, and then he starts shooting fireballs at you. And I'm pretty sure, I think you can deflect them. I'm not sure. I can't quite remember, even though I just did this. But the same rules apply. You can still hit him uh, a little bit while he's while he's standing, and you know that's it. Just keep at it, and then you know if he gets your health down too low, throw a potion real quick. You shouldn't need much. Ifrit's horn. Now, I say Ifrit. Some people say Ifrit. Mm. I don't know which one's right. What a racket. How's a doorknob to get any sleep? Hear something? It sounded like something closed. This gummy ain't like no others. No, sir. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Obtain Navi G piece. Splendid, you're quite the hero. 
And if you're looking for Alice, she's not here. She's gone. Off with the shadows into darkness. No. Let's go back to our gummy ship. We might find her in another world. We've got to go to a save point to return to our ship. Alright, so. Um, we failed to rescue Alice. She has been taken by the Heartless. We don't know where, but we do know that she has been taken. Um, I already uh, checked on my last playthrough. There's really not much more that you can do in here. Um, there is something to do with like the, the uh, tea party garden, um, but I don't think you can do that until later. So I'm going to hold off doing that for now, um, and we will be uh, going to stop this recording where we're at right here, and then we'll keep going uh, on the next world. I'll take a little break real quick and come back and we'll, we'll tackle the next world.